Hello, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Nathan Lee, and I am the assistant head in math and science from Arch Education. So today I'm going to quickly share with you um, a very crucial part for mathematics in the IB diploma exam, that is the so-called math exploration, or sometimes people just call it IA, which stands for internal assessment. Now this is a very crucial part next to the, 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 the very conventional exams, because it's actually telling you, it's just like, this is weighting like 20% of your whole subject score. So according to the past grade boundaries, this is talking about as much as two grades, which means from a seven to a five. So don't, um, don't underestimate the stuff and just do it good. Uh, Probably different from some other subjects like economics. This is like a single assessment, meaning that you just need to hand in one exploration projects uh, within the two year course of IBDP. Um, according to the syllabus, uh, it's just a suggestion. Uh, the report should be around 20 pages, uh, but there, are, there aren't really any strict guidelines like page limit or um, what the, the word limit. Uh, unlike other subjects, probably. And they also are expecting you to hand in your report in double spacing, but the school teacher will probably tell the student to do so as well in order to fulfill the, the requirement of the, the IBO guidelines. So of course, if we are talking about marking criteria, well, this is like 20 points, right? So um, is exact further like divided into five main marking criteria and we're going to discuss a little bit on this now first of all the presentation which you know is like four points out of 20. simply speaking whether you are cohesive or whether you are presenting your ideas in a very complete sentence or in a, a very coherent structure of your topic whether your aim whether your your, your rationale for doing this this IA or, or the exploration is like clearly presented. This will be all this criterion A. Criterion B will be the math communication. I uh, also worth four points out of 20. Uh, basically, this is like a math exploration. So they expect you to communicate well in math calculations, of course. But within that, they also expect you to use proper math notations. Uh, in fact, in some of the math no, uh, exploration, we see some very unsatisfactory uh, notations like three to the power two. Maybe we'll, we'll do something like three to the power of two. Well, this is normally acceptable when you are doing Google search or maybe you are typing in, in some computer. This is in fact not a very satisfactory notation. Well, actually it's not proper notation. So you will get low points in math communication. Of course, on the other hand, you will be drawing graphs, uh, whether your graphs are clearly labeled, uh, the, the axes and labeled the equations, this will be part of it as well. Criterion C is so-called uh, the personal engagement, which you know is worth three points. Uh, this is just like by, by explaining uh, how much how much of this topic that you chosen, because in the math exploration, you choose a topic on yourself on some maybe phenomenon, maybe the thing that you want to solve in math. So this is like, uh, depends on how this math exploration is related to you. It may be like, uh, it may be seen through the introduction or maybe some specific kind of task that you want to, want to, want to achieve. Uh, uh, which is like unique to your own personal experience, maybe. So this is a very good example, not try to find some topics which is like easily available online or maybe from Wikipedia. Criterion D is the reflection. I think maybe if the students are so familiar with MYP before the DT, they will know what reflection mean. But so basically it's like for all the results that they found, or for every single step of the of their calculation of their findings, what the findings actually mean to the to the to the situation, or, or what is the significance of the result? Maybe there is some meaning for the result that they already 
achieved or, 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 or they, they could come up with, maybe if they can't reach some uh, conclusion, why is that? Or maybe they, they and, or any restrictions or any limitations that they encounter or any assumption that they made in the exploration. So this is a very crucial part. And this is usually done not in a separate section called reflection, but throughout the whole, the whole IA. And it actually makes the, the, the pro process smoother. Last but not least, this is like the most weighted part. It's like use of math. Of course, whether you calculate things correctly, whether the math level that you use is up to par on the level that you are studying this. So this marking criteria is like the same for both math applications and math uh, and uh, math uh, approaches like AA and AI, and the same for both HL and SL. So if you're using the math, make sure that they are like up to the standard of what your, what the level you are studying it, and make sure they are they are calculated correctly. Because if you got it wrong, you got at most three out of six points here. Last but not least, we are going to share about some do's and some don'ts. Um, First, if you're going to do the must do's, of course, consult your teachers, yourself, your tutors, of course, on what topics you really want to do. Now, as mentioned before, you don't just do some very random topics, you search from Google. Uh, because if you do so, of course, your personal engagement will be not very high and not very good. And at worst, you may not even know what you are doing. Okay. And on the other hand, this is very important. Some people actually think that harder topics or over unnecessarily hard topics will have extra credits with it. Now, this is true when you totally know what you're doing. Otherwise, it will make an extremely bad impression to examiners or even the teachers who are going to mark your stuff. So select a topic which is suitable for your uh, level of study in maths. The second two is like you always communicate your report using complete sentences in paragraphs, um, preferably in layman terms, meaning that terms that people not very good at math still understand what they are talking. This is good for your communication, and this is also good for your use of math as well. The third one is like, uh, well, we are in 2022, so they also assume you to use a lot of technology presenting graphs, writing graphs, drawing graphs, or maybe doing the, uh, the, the, the more complicated uh, calculations. Desmos, uh, GeoGebra, or even Excel will do here. Last, we have some don'ts. So as I've mentioned, the first don'ts is like you select the topics which are unnecessarily hard, unless you know exactly what you are doing, okay? This will make a very bad impression, again, for everyone who marked your paper. The second one is like you choose topics which are easily available from online because it's like they are too ubiquitous and they don't really will contribute a lot of personal engagement to yourself. So it doesn't look like original. Okay. Third, as I've mentioned already as well, uh, use the, don't use the improper math notations like the power and the multiplication and the division sign. These are usually computer language, but not for math. So these are the don'ts and of course the do's and a little bit of the introdu introduction on the math exploration in IB. I uh, hope you know a little bit more and thank you.